So why, after three months, did Chinese police suddenly release Ai Weiwei on bail? To help us with the inside story, I spoke to Min Shin Pei, professor of government and director of the Keck Center for International and Strategic Studies at Claremont McKenna College in California. So Professor Pei, thank you for joining us. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation that the reason for Ai Weiwei's release has to do with the fact that holding him was becoming a growing embarrassment to China. Now, does that make sense to you? Absolutely, it makes sense to me because uh, the international pressure since his arrest has been relentless and the Chinese government does not want to be under that kind of spotlight mm -hmm. for a long, long time. So uh, it makes sense for, for them to cut their losses uh, right away. But what about the allegations or the suspicion of tax evasion? Uh, do those have any merit? I doubt uh, for several reasons. Uh, Ai Weiwei himself must have known that he's uh, being watched closely by the government, so he must be very careful with what he does mm -hmm. in terms of his business. Second, Chinese laws are very poorly written, tax laws in particular. So the <laughs> Chinese government can always find some kind of loopholes or uh, the mistakes in uh, uh, anybody's business dealings. So I think it is really political and much less economic. What about the confession that he made? Was that basically coerced? I, I guess, because once you're in jail, you have very <laughs> few options. And today I read that he has also agreed not to talk to reporters for a year. Uh, I wonder what kind of uh, law that is that makes that shuts up a uh, citizen who has not been found guilty of any wrongdoing. So in your view, were the Chinese authorities basically just trying to make an example of Ai Weiwei? Were they sending a message that, you know, even if you're a prominent artist with friends all around the world, it doesn't matter, we can still detain you? Oh, absolutely. The Chinese government wants to deter uh, other activists from following the example of Ai Weiwei. Ai Weiwei has been the most prominent, so they want to make an example of him. And what do you think will happen to Ai Weiwei's friends and associates who weren't quite as well known or didn't have the kind of international support that he did? Uh, I'm thinking of people on Ai's staff and the journalist in particular, Wen Tao, who supported his work. Well, I think uh, people like Wen Tao will not fare well because the Chinese government has been very harsh on journalists. On the other hand, his uh, support staff, such as his secretaries, assistants, uh, will probably do better. They are likely to be let go uh, very soon. And what do you think the long-term consequences of the Chinese action will be? Do you think this will have a chilling effect on other activists like uh, Ai Weiwei? I, the chilling effect will be very short term. Soon other activists will start challenging the Chinese government. Uh, let's just look at history. Liu Xiaobo, the Nobel Prize winner, went to jail two years ago. Now Ai Weiwei. So uh, we expect other people to follow their footsteps. So you think the fact that the Chinese government relented in this case might actually encourage more people to follow Ai Weiwei's footsteps? I do not believe so. I think uh, uh, there's a separate logic. People follow our ways, footsteps because of their idealism, because of their opposition to authoritarian rule. Thanks so much for your time, Professor Pei. Min Shin Pei is a Chinese scholar at the Claremont McKenna College in Southern California. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs programs which connect you to the world. To learn more, visit linktv.org.